hi everyone today we are going to see how to simulate a solid uh, unit operation okay so we will look at the problem statement first and this is all about a cyclone okay you know what is cyclone it is a solid solid separator based on the particle size distribution oversized and undersized uh, like a mesh but it's a separating more fine uh, powder okay so currently we are taking a standard uh, deviation of 5.227 and a mean value of 8.343 micron material we consider as kaolin or kaolinite in uh, system when you come to the uh, aspen it is kaolinite okay and uh, we are considering the temperature as inlet temperature of the feed stream as 30 degree and a pressure at 5 bar and assume a flow rate of 1000 kg per hour 1 tons per hour okay and we are going to study the particle size distribution of the top and the bottom product of the cyclone using aspen plus okay while we are handling these systems in a uh, in a solid system it's uh, it's little bit different than a normal system which is defining in uh, aspen plus so we will start to define a solid stream into the cyclone okay just open the aspen plus window we can open a new case click to new uh, in this case we can select either a template which is blank or a solid uh, both it's it will work in this case okay so today i am going to try with the solid just click solid and select a solid with the metric unit it, it doesn't matter even if you click a template we can go to the solid by adding some some enterprise database into the system click create it will take some time to load the database okay it's already loaded the first thing we will do with the uh, adjusting the unit set just for our easiness just select from the setup of properties don't confuse with the simulation part it comes under the properties parts click the setup and click here new we will create a new setup new set put any name for me default name it's fine click ok then uh, select metric this is for easiness for us ok today we have only dealing with the temperature and pressure so I'm just changing temperature and pressure into our required unit pressure is I think it's in bar yeah it's in bar so we will give here pressure in sorry not this temperature so this is in bar that's all about the unit now let's go to the components okay. we have only one component let's try in the database okay before if you want to check which database you are in you can just check here check for solid this solid is present in the selected database if you did not select the solids uh, you probably are not going to select any solid material over here so just search for kaolinite spelling is okay uh, i believe it's okay just try <coughs> sorry yeah we got the material over here and select the added component into the component list for our sake of easiness i checked the name to kaolin okay yeah rename it fine okay now this is the different activity what we are going to do than a normal activity normally it is in conventional stage we have here multiple options you can either select it to solid non-conventional pseudo component essay blend hypothetical liquid polymer oligomer segment these three are coming under polymer when you have a polymerization reaction and all those stuff okay right now we are interested in solid so just select solid okay don't miss it this is very important step okay now click next button we will select the uh, <coughs> method and properties calculation so i would like to go to day with uh, ideal it's very easy and it will calculate all the most of the properties let's select next run the property analysis wait for the analysis okay probably it is going to take some time yeah it's done 
So next go to the simulation part. Okay, this is very important when we select the solid, we do not miss the, the configuration of solid in the first property selection option. Okay. So let us start with the proper material stream. Yes, rename it as a feed. I would like to give it feed. Yep. Then our target today, our uh, subject of K, subject of study is cyclone. So simply select cyclone from the solid separator. We got cyclone and separators here also, but go ahead with the solid separator. It is very easy for uh, for the solid separation activity. So rename it as a cyclone. Where is it? Cyclone. Yep. Let us reconnect this foam here. A little zoom out. It's very easy to find. Okay, now connect the remaining streams by top and bottom. Rename it top product. Hopefully, it will be okay. Port product. Yeah, that's fine. So, let us start configuring the feed. Double click on the feed this part is very important we got two uh, uncompleted two incomplete uh, form here so this time we will select ci it's a conventional uh, it's a conventional solid with the particle size is known so we got the elements we got the parameters over here let's see how much temperature it is 30 degrees celsius and it is at 5 bar and uh, the flow rate is supposed to be 1 ton per hour. Let us start adding this parameter over here 30 degree and 5 bar. Okay, and uh, it's in mass flow 100, sorry, 1000 kg per hour. Okay, before this, I would like to add one more thing in the setup it is automatically mix ci pst which is a mixed and ci solid with particle size distribution known it's a conventional solid present with the particle size known particle size there are there are available some known conventional without particle size and with particle size but different categories are available based on your demand currently you know the particle size distribution and our target is to study about the particle size distribution so it is automatically coming mixed cipsd because you selected the solid in properties otherwise it will not come up here okay now just define solids currently it is mixed uh, cipsd is already collected there is no any liquid component so it's uh, normally it is defining in case of a drying operation we might need to add the available moisture what is the moisture content and you can select over here and then it will be considered so currently now we have uh, uh, a particle size distribution is given so let us go ahead and see how much it is the standard deviation is 5.2772277 it's in micron and a mean value of 8.343 so we would like to add only the mesh starting from okay before you that select equidistant and the lower limit say 0 to 50 may it will work it's in micron 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 yes it's micron just populate the particle size distribution uh, okay it's in just a 10 so let us increase the size to 25 for much more precise differentiation yeah it's now considered as a 25 screens okay so these things are very important before uh, before defining the feed stream so let us go back to the feed stream where we are we were okay now go back we already defined the temperature and pressure in solid part system being lagging a little bit okay no issue so let us continue with this uh, particle size distribution now once you select the ci solid you need you have an incomplete portion portion here which is mentioning the particle size distribution we can define the particle size distribution here okay now there is a user defined specified values or a distribution function we can 
So currently we have two particles, sorry, two parameters with uh, one which is mentioning standard deviation and the other one is uh, mean. So we can give both the values here, okay? Or you have different log values and this, I'm not sure what about this one. So, but normally I use this one while we have a standard deviation data which is given 5.227. So let's give that data. 5.227 which is in a micron don't forget to change in micron otherwise we will end up with a different value okay it is 8.343 which is in uh, mean value 8.343 8.343 which is again in micron just populate the value so that you can see the weight fraction based on this standard deviation and uh, mean value given calculate it it will take some time to populate the curve yes it is defined you can see the particle size curve is available and when you go back to the data which you populated here it's very clearly mentioned which is starting from uh, 0 micron until 25 uh, which is a particle size distribution it's a current situation it is until 30 okay the maximum uh, size is until 30 micron okay so let's see how it is working now feed component is totally defined let's click the golden next button we will see what are the things we need to be defined in cyclone okay okay the, the the particles okay how come oh, okay sorry it's disconnected that's why it is again asking for uh, i'm not sure how it is disconnected gas required why like this delete it it's much easier good top product okay now let's start with uh, defining cyclone okay currently let us select that we have two options are available one is solid separator and cyclone you can select the solid separator also and cyclone solid separator once you click you can see it will give you a typical fraction whatever you given the fraction into the top side product and to the bottom side product it will specifically differentiate the uh, quantity by percentage but this will not uh, 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 this will not give you a proper particle size distribution because this is just working as a solid separator it will not work as a cyclone whereas it will work as a solid separator but if you want to work properly uh, working like simulate like a cyclone you need to select the cyclone itself so it's very important and model it's you know it's just a simulation calculation method we'll select the first one there are a lot of models are available but I'll go to for the first one then here I would like to select the high sorry high efficiency uh, type there are many type available based on your data sheet you can select whichever all those stuffs are I'm just going leave it as such what it is given I'm not changing anything for the simplicity diameter I'm going to give one meter we don't have a reference given so I just given a value as a reference it is also av will be available in uh, equipment data sheet now see the specifications are completely defined we can just move for running the simulation let's see how it works required inputs are complete processing going on hopefully no errors not sure let's see taking a little bit of some time results are available with warning let us see what is that warning gas flow rate is zero bypass 
block is bypassed. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, not a problem. Let's see how the result is because it is not mentioned any gas flow here. We just mentioned solid only. It's supposed to be air also in system. See the stream result. I would like to see whether this is this particle size distribution is working or not. You need to go all the way to the bottom, see the CISPD substream, and where you can see particle size distribution. Okay, bottom product. It's not separating anything. Okay, let's sort out the error. Okay, we would like to give air in the feed system as a component let us define it again we missed it it's conventional go back to the property analysis just to tabulate the properties before going to the simulation step it is supposed to be there Okay, done. So let's go back. Now edit the feed stream. I'm assuming some value of air. System is little slow. Sorry. Yeah, all the data for the solid is given. Now we need to consider the mixed flow over here. Temperature just consider the same temperature and pressure at the same fiber and the flow rate Let us say it is just an imaginary value while I did not prepare for that um, air stream forget actually uh, I'm just giving 5,000 5,000 it's not that good. Let's say 10,000 kg per hour Okay, what else require it is mass flow we need to define what material is its mass fraction or mass flow whatever you select if you select one it is done okay so it is well defined now would like to run one more time with air we will see if there is any kind of error is again populating or not This time no warning no errors probably we succeeded to to distribute the particle size let's see and go back to the stream result we open it before so it's very easy yeah scroll all the way down now you can see both streams are populated over here and go back again to the particle size distribution yes it is almost done so let us see the distribution difference see until 18 micron 18 micron uh, the top product will carry away those product or those particle those particle size coming under my 18 micron that means if your feed containing 18 micron and below it will be going as a top product now this is your i can say it's a cut diameter okay remaining all until 50 micron which is going towards the the bottom product okay so our simulation is successfully completed okay. have been seen all these things very important is the defining how to define the solid and how to define the particle size distribution thank you for all today thank you